Yo, this fucking watercolor engine is gorgeous! I'm so excited to play this. Holy shit. What is going on, dudes? My name's Lathic, and welcome to Valkyria Chronicles! So, Valkyria Chronicles, I never heard of it. I was literally, uh, talking to Jadrick, and he was asking me about this one game, and I went to look up the price of it. This was advertised on the front screen, it was also on sale, and I checked it out, and the engine reminds me of the Attack on Titan engine, it's war themed, which I fucking love, and I was so hyped to play this game. So we're gonna play through it, I know nothing at all about the game, <laughs> I know nothing about anything at all, I have my options set so we should be good. I'm so excited, you have no idea how excited I am for this game. I don't know what's going on, but I'm in the that, that intro was dope, yo. <laughs> it was really cool. So I know there's the Empire and the... Uh, the... Whoever, the, the Federation. The was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the West, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. <laughs> I am so From excited. Gallia to arms. All right, Gallia. A new episode has been added, okay? That's great. Alright, so do I just... Prologue Galilee Arms War European War 2. I believe that's what we just, uh, were told. I'm meeting, it seems like this is our next thing, so let's go! Do I click? View this episode? Yes. Okay, apparently left click is the... whatever. I'm so excited! I love how the engine looks! March, 1935. Outside the Galleon border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Ready? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Put your hands in the air, slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Bruletown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melkiot. So, 
I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. Uh, this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. That's a... Uh, uh, thanks, fish. <laughs> I don't know why that would be... I don't know. The Imperial attack. Let's do it. I don't know. That's weird. I'm not sure what to think. <laughs> Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or, this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? I apologize, okay. but I was just doing my job, you know. This is just... I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little it's suspicious. It's so typically anime already. <laughs> Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Okay. Well, uh, about saving the game, open the menu by pressing F. That's a weird button for the menu. Then select save to record your progress to the Steam Cloud and hard, dis hard disk drive. Saving is a good idea for during anything and combat operation. Anything can happen out there. Alright. I, like, legit, this is so anime already. It's funny. <laughs> um, what do I do? Oh, space is save. Some weird controls here. Uh, let's, let's start. Encounter a brule. So, I, I'm confused. Like, okay, I don't know. Here's the plan. Gotta eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective is to eliminate all enemies. Take them out one at a time nice and easy. Alright, all enemies are defeated. If 20 turns pass, welcome and in and Okay. Let's get started. Just stay, stay calm and get it done. Alright, she's gonna do it. She's gonna say it for us. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Command points. Combat starts with see a map of the area in your unit's position. This is referred to as command mode. Here, you're selecting unit you'd like to move based on their position in respect of the enemy, and then press space. Doing so up on the command points uh, uses up one of them at the top of the screen. They reflect your abilities as a commander. Represent the number of times you can give instructions to your units per player face. In this battle, you have three. Seeing as you can instructions to your units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit out. So this is actually a lot like Fire Emblem. 
So, uh, okay. Do I click on you? About action points. Using CP to select the unit command mode and you'll be plunged into action mode. You can move freely, uh, you can freely move the unit you selected around the field. As you move around, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. This represents the unit's mobility. Once it re reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keep an eye on the unit's remaining AP where they're in a motion is critical to keeping them safe. Okay. The idiot's not even facing me. For now, you use WASD to move the unit near the sandbags. Alright. This also actually reminds me of, um... Uh, Lord of Magna. About attacking. Okay. Press the E button to enter target mode. The unit will prepare to attack with the currently selected weapon. Use WAC to move the crosshairs. Q and E to snap between targets. Enemies now attack while you're in target mode, so take your time to aim well before seeing space to fire. Shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center it on the entire target. Shots in the head or the other weak points will result in greater damage. You can only attack from a target mode. What? I just, I don't know. Unit can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. Targets arise at your attack, they may launch a counterattack. Damage, you may not have the HP to survive the enemy's counters. Be careful when planning your attack. Okay. Well, good job, Welkin. You suck. Well, he only got hit once, so we're good. About ending actions. Unit with zero remaining AP that is already performed. Then able to act further. Press E to escape to end their current action. This will return you to command mode. You'll be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. You can press escape and, uh, even if they have, a have an attack. So, it literally is like... Uh, no, I'm not... I'm not done moving him, so let's see. Can I... Space. Wait, you can continue shooting me? Stop it! So am I done? Okay, I don't know. That's weird. This is this is weird. It's different. It's very different than anything I've done before. Alright. She's slow. That was... Okay, maybe not. Maybe something. Yeah. Critical hit. And he's dead. Good job, Alicia. Hmm. Okay. Um, are there any... Okay, you know what? We'll just wait here. End, my, end, the, end the turn. And then we'll move the... This is weird. The frame rate's kind of weird too. It's just, it's kind of like changing. Let's move, alright, move this person. Oh, it's the other watchman. I thought it was gonna be the. the general's daughter. What the heck is going on? Do you see, did you see those random noises? Okay, we're going to attack him from here and see if we can. I hit him! Twice! Sweet, good job, Watchman. All right, let's see what they're gonna do. One is dead. Battening phase. When your CP reaches zero, the player ends in the enemy. Once player or enemy face pair constitutes a single turn, the few returns you complete a mission and more cash and experience to receive. But to, being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. The key is to finding a challenging balance. All right, sweet. This is weird. I'm actually going to uh, use my controller for the next episode. Okay, I'm just waiting here. We're just seeing from the different points of view. We have all our... Well, I guess I'm the only one who lost health. Can I, like, speed this up? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Okay. That's their turn. Because we killed the other one. Play a phase. Valkyria, Valkyria, may the blood live forever. Valkyria, Valkyria, bless and protect their fertile land. Using CP effectively. When you use well, even a limited pool of CP can take in a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. Oh! For instance, a pool of three can be used to move one unit three times. 
Prepare for cutting the enemy lines and hurrying past dangerous terrain. That said, people get tired, they'll start consecutive. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP, so keep that in mind. Use cancel button to end your phase, the CP will carry it over for the next turn. CP or precious resource, have you choose to manage them will decide your fate. Interesting. Okay. Alright, I have full health again. So we'll, we we'll move go. I'm gonna move walk in first. Come on, Walken. Stop sucking. He missed most of the shots. Alright, nope. Get out. Oh. What the? Come on. Get out. What's going on? Get out of target mode. Tab. Up, up, up. Down. Down. Just get down. Get down. Get down. Get. What am I doing? I can't. Okay, so I can't crouch behind anything that's not a sandbag. What is going on? <laughs> that's weird. I don't know. This this is it's strange. Walken doesn't do much damage. Either that or he's just not that good. Well, that would be the same thing, actually. Whoa. Oh, I can move the reticle with I forgot I can move. I like using the mouse better though. Damn it! All right, he only hit once. Good. Now, go, Alicia. Sometimes they move a lot faster than others. That is weird. I don't know. In the current action, yeah. There we go. He's dead. Good job, Watchman. The Watchman's killed both of them, actually. All right. End action. Good job, guys. Walk, walk in my get hit, though, because <laughs> of where he is. This is strange. Like this is actually, I like. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> I knew this would be something I'd like. Oh, he decided not to move at all. Okay, I need to read what it says for the, um, whatever you call it, uh, the Empire when they attack. We'll go with the Watchmen first. Why not? At least he hit twice. All right, we'll end him there. Wow, well, Scout, I just, I should have made him get closer. I don't know why I didn't. About using cover. Okay, there's, we don't. I already know how about using the sandbags. When standing near sandbags, command crotch will appear, press cover to uh, space, take cover. While hiding, units are harder to target, make take less damage or immune to headshots and critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open could be easier to hit and take significantly more damage. Events carefully moving from cover to cover and always try to end your action safely from hard. Things should keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Gallia. Okay. That time it was quick. What the heck was going on before? Uh, okay, good. Can you run? I don't think I can run. The frame rate is so weird. It keeps dipping. Like, it's not... Uh, the music would be dipping, too, if it was actual, like, frame lag. It's just the game itself. It's weird. Good job, Walken. We did it. We win. What the heck is that? I don't see any more of them. All right, Alicia. That's true. There's only three. There we go. I get rank C for three turns. All right. I got. Looks like DCI is the the money, so I got 400 of that. Sweet. C rank. All right. Uh, Hilltop Promise. Let's do this. Miss Melkiot, 
There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. So a dandelion. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust of persecution and hate and of love blooming even through the flames of war what follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought lived and died it's hard for me not to laugh because it's just so anime already but i love it i'm so excited this is really really cool this is really cool so far. Okay. Chapter one. In defense of Alright, and that's where we're gonna be having the first episode of Valkyria Chronicles. Really hope you enjoyed the video like special video. The next episode we'll be doing the next chapter. I'm probably gonna do it like that. Probably do like one chapter at a time. Um, I don't know how many are in the game. Uh, as you see it says there's C H S P W G, I think, or yeah, G D S M. If those are individual chapters, I'll be doing uh, like all of those, I think, in one. I don't know how long. I don't know how long this game is gonna be. It seems like it's gonna be a while. Um, I'm excited for it. I'm super, super, super excited for it. So I really hope you all enjoyed it. Did like, appreciate it, and yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later.